Here, this is the dissection of the sole of the foot, in which after removal of the skin and the fascia, we come across this shiny, silvery surfaced plantar aponeurosis. This is the modification of the deep fascia. And this plantar aponeurosis will be the continuation of plantaris tendon, which we have discussed with you recently. So this plantar aponeurosis will have apex and base. Apex will be from the calcaneus bone, that is the origin, from the plantar surface of calcaneus. And then as it progresses down, it will divide into five slips for the five digits. Now, each of the slip will be dividing again into two. One will be for superficial into the dermis and the second will divide once again deep into two on either side of the margins of metatarsophalangeal joints in which these two lateral slips will then be inserted into deep transverse metatarsal ligaments of all the five digits. So this is plantar aponeurosis muscle, modification of the deep fascia of the sole after removal of plantar aponeurosis now, because we have removed on other side. Now this side, if we come on here, after removal of plantar aponeurosis here, <coughs> we should be able to see there are four different layers of the sole. Now, before we try and understand the four different layers, please note down that the plantar aponeurosis, medial and lateral boundary, the medial and lateral margin of plantar aponeurosis will send vertical septa deep inside in the sole. And these vertical septa of plantar aponeurosis will be known as medial and lateral intermuscular septa, which will further divide the sole into medial compartment, intermediate compartment and <coughs> lateral compartment. So therefore, based on that structure, if we come here, we start with the first layer of the sole of the foot. In the first layer, three muscles, <coughs> and they are, you start from medial to lateral, from the hallux side. If we start, this is the first muscle. Abductor hallucis. Origin of abductor hallucis, first muscle, will be from the, number one, medial intermuscular septa of plantar aponeurosis. Number two, from the medial tubercle of calcaneus. And this entire muscle, this abductor hallucis will be inserted on the, which side? Abductor side. And which is the abductor side? It will be inserted on the medial side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the hallux. This is abductor hallucis. Then action of abductor hallucis will be abduction of the hallux. And at the same time, now supply of abductor hallucis will be it will be supplied by the medial plantar now. Second muscle here, intermediate, if you see here, which we have cut across the origin. Now this muscle will be flexor digitorum brevis, taking origin from the plantar surface of the calcaneus. It will also take origin from the part of plantar aponeurosis also. And it will also take origin from the medial tubercle of calcaneus. Note down these points of origin. Then after taking origin, this flexor digitorum brevis will split into the tendons. And these tendons will be for the lateral four toes. And these tendons will pass deep inside and they will be inserted into the base of the proximal phalanges of the lateral four toes. Flexor digitorum brevis. Now supply of flexor digitorum brevis muscle will be medial plantar now. And the action of flexor digitorum brevis muscle will be, it will help in flexion of the proximal part that is the metatarsophalangeal joint of the lateral four toes. Then we come across to the lateral, this muscle. Now this muscle here taking origin, this is abductor digiti minimi, taking origin from, now here, this is interesting, it will take origin from lateral and medial tubercle, both the tubercles of calcaneus. Number two, it will take origin from the lateral intermuscular septum of the plantar aponeurosis. And number three, it will also take origin from the, as I had told you, medial and lateral tubercle of calcaneus. Then insertion here, this will be inserted into the lateral part of the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth digit. So therefore, this is supplied by the lateral plantar now. And the action will be abduction of the fifth digit. Here we finish the layers of the first muscles of the layers of the first sole. Now, the 
second layer of the soul which are the muscles of the second layer of the soul after reflecting abductor digiti minimi after reflecting flexor digiton brevis and after cutting across this abductor hallucis we come across two tendons first we see the two tendons this tendon very clearly here yes this tendon is the flexor hallucis longus tendon continuation from the posterior compartment of the leg and this tendon here is continuation of flexor digitorum longus tendon continuing from the posterior compartment of the leg interesting is these two muscles now these two muscles will be number 1 flexor digitorum accessorius now this flexor digitorum accessorius muscle will have medial and lateral head both the heads will take origin from the plantar surface of the calcaneus muscle and insertion will be on the lateral part of the tendon of the flexor digitorum longus tendon flexor digitorum accessorius and therefore this flexor digitorum accessorius muscle will have nerve supply as lateral plantar nerve and the action of flexor digitorum accessorius will be it will help in pulling the flexor digitorum longus tendon so it will help in the whatever actions of flexor digitorum longus tendon is there then we come across to lumbricals as you can see here there are four lumbricals very clearly you are able to see first is unipinnate the remaining are bipinnate very clearly this is first then second third fourth so therefore the first taking origin from the medial side of the first tendon of flexor digitorum longus similarly second bipinnate from the adjacent sides of the first and second then third from the adjacent sides of the second and third then fourth from adjacent sides of third and fourth tendon and all these lumbricals will be inserted where are they inserted they will be inserted in the dorsal part of the metatarsophalangeal joint and at the same time these lumbricals will be inserted along with the digital expansion so therefore the action of lumbricals will also be flexion of metatarsophalangeal joints as well as extension of the interphalangeal joints and first lumbrical nerve supply will be medial plantar nerve and the second third and fourth lumbrical nerve supply will be lateral plantar nerve here we finish the second layer so if we remove the second layer we come across the third layer muscles of the third layer now in the third layer <coughs> this is reflected this tendon so third layer on the medial side here this muscle which is seen this entire muscle is flexor hallucis brevis y shaped muscle now please note down flexor hallucis brevis will have two heads of origin medial and lateral the medial head is a continuation of tibialis posterior tendon and the lateral head will take origin from cuboid and lateral cuneiform bone insertion of flexor hallucis brevis will be along with the insertion of first muscle belonging to the first layer that is the abductor hallucis along with that it will be inserted on either side of the base of the proximal phalanx of great toe that is flexor hallucis brevis now supply of flexor hallucis brevis will be by the medial plantar nerve then we come across to this muscle here middle muscle this is adductor hallucis now adductor hallucis will have two heads this is oblique head this entire is oblique and very deep inside there will be transverse head transverse head will not have any bony attachment oblique head will have bony attachment so the oblique head of adductor hallucis will take origin from the base of the second third and fourth metatarsal bones please note down second third and fourth metatarsal bone bases that is the oblique head of adductor hallucis what about transverse head transverse as as i told you there is no bony origin it will take origin from the deep metatarsal ligaments of the third fourth and fifth metatarsophalangeal joints it does not have any bony attachment now both the heads oblique and transverse will join together and will be inserted on the adductor side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the helix that will be on which side on the lateral side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the great toe because the action of adductor hallucis will be adduction of the great toe and adduction of great toe is towards the middle toe and the nerve supply of adductor hallucis will be the lateral plantar nerve then we come across to this muscle this is the third now here this muscle will be known as the flexor digiti minimi 
So therefore, so flexor digiti minimi brevis will take origin from number one, the sheath of peroneus longus muscle, and also from the base of the fifth metatarsal bone, tubercle of the base of fifth metatarsal tarsal bone, and it will be inserted on the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth toe. That is the flexor digiti minimi brevis. Now supply will be the lateral plantar now, and it will help in the flexion of the fifth toe. Now, third muscle, third layer. If we remove now this third layer, if we remove, we come across to the Introsei muscle. The introsei muscle will be very interesting if you go deep, retract this, and if you go very deep, here you should feel the you should feel the metatarsal bone. Now, in between this metatarsal bones, in between this metatarsal bone, there will be plantar introsei, which you are able to see. In between these metatarsal bones, there are plantar introsei muscle and how many plantar introsei in the foot there are three plantar introsei in the foot these are the plantar introsei muscles and these plantar introsei in the foot will be they all the three are unipinnate in such a way that they will take origin from the medial sides of the third fourth and fifth metatarsal bone and they are inserted into the base of the metatarsal pharyngeal joints on the respective sides. These are plantar introsei muscle, three, unipinnate, and they are supplied by lateral plantar nerve. Now dorsal introsei. For the dorsal introsei, we need to, Sir, I think we'll show in this one, dorsal introsei, if you lift all these structures, even if you lift the extensor digitorum longus structure, peroneus tertius, this is extensor, See here, this is extensor digitorum brevis also. If I lift this, so extensor digitorum longus and extensor digitorum brevis structure, if I lift it, I come across, here it is seen, I come across below my fingers, see here. If you are able to see, these are the metatarsals. I have lifted extensor digitorum longus and extensor digitorum brevis. Remember, from the extensor side, I am showing you. These are the metatarsals. In between metatarsal, you can see the bipinnate arrangement of these muscles. And these bipinnate arrangement of these muscles, these are the bipinnate arrangement of these muscles, they are the dorsal introsei. How many dorsal introsei are there? There are four dorsal introsei, bipinnate. In between, which toes? In between first and second, second and third, then third and fourth, and fourth and fifth. So, bipinnate origin. And remember, the insertion of the first dorsal introsei will be on the medial side of the second toe. Second dorsal introsei will be on the lateral side of second toe. Third dorsal introsei, it will be on the lateral side of the third toe. And fourth dorsal introsei will be on the lateral side of the fourth toe. That will be the dorsal introsei muscle. And these dorsal introsei muscle will help in they will help in abduction of the toes. Plantar introsei will help in adduction of the toes. These are helping in abduction. And the nerve supply of these bipinnate four dorsal introsei muscle will be lateral plantar nerve. So note down, muscles of the sole, all the muscles of sole are supplied by lateral plantar nerve except four muscles which are supplied by medial plantar nerve. And they are number one, the abductor hallucis, number two, flexor digitorum brevis, number three, first lumbrical, and number four, flexor hallucis brevis. These four muscles supplied by medial plantar now, remaining all the muscles of the soul supplied by lateral plantar now. Thank you very much.